Hi guys, welcome to Being Wendy. My name is Wendy aka Mama Dainai, Wendy who is a motherhood lifestyle and anything that I feel like telling you guys about if you're into this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button to get notified anytime we post a video. Oh my god, today I'm so excited because I'm starting a new series on my channel. It's gonna be called The Boss Next Door. Literally, I'm going to be bringing you stories of entrepreneurs, people in careers, people doing literally anything to make things work, to make life move on for them. And um, most of them are going to be really young people. Even if they're not going to be young people, we're going to be learning a lot from them. Um, I am so excited. I am super, super crazily excited. Today we're bringing on an amazing lady who is a designer in Kenya who, like Yanni, her products are top-notch. If you follow me, you know that I really watch for this brand because she's my really good friend from campus and she's also really um, hardworking and her work is really just, mwah, we love to see it. So, um, I need to go get ready. However, um, as I prepare, I need to clean up because she's coming. She's coming to my space today because my good friend, so she comes home. Um, so today, she's told her, come over because I was pretty good today. I, was, I mean, I was pretty... Like my day was packed like crazy, so it made it hard for me to leave. But she was kind enough to, to agree to come. So I want to do my makeup and get dressed up because when I'm doing this series, I'm not going to let it be mediocre. I'm going to look good. Okay, it's not gonna be look at mediocre. Okay, so um, with that said, let's get ready and then um, we'll see you guys when she gets back. Hi guys, welcome back. So I had introduced the channel, the, the show, the today's um, episode earlier. So this is our first episode on Boss Next Door. So you're our first Boss Next Door. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my friend, my really good friend from campus. She's called Daisy Kamandora. I call her Daisy Kamandora. She's not called Kamandora, she's called Kamandi. But I call her Kamandora because, yeah, because of the bags and the marketing and the hats, all that. This is the brains behind it. So I wanted to bring her on today so she'll tell us her story, her journey, and so that when you guys come to this channel, you'll be able to have a background or an idea of what it takes to get into like that kind of design. <laughs> <laughs> so then you tell us about yourself, give us a rough introduction. Uh, so you can't say Daisy without mentioning Commander. Yeah. <laughs> um, for most people who've known me, uh, my name is Daisy Commander. Kamandora comes from my surname Kamande, yeah. and it's been a journey. It was, it started as Kamandora started as something so different from yeah. what it is right now. Uh, gosh, it started from the bracelet. Shambalas, Shambalas. <laughs> Remember the days of Shambalas? <laughs> I used to meet Daisy in Tao. I'm a Tokoko Danta. <laughs> you remember those necklaces they are leather and you can append and they are true. Yes. So, uh, I think what I had in mind was just when I started it, it was, I just wanted to do something with the little pocket money I should be given. Yeah, so I saw the opportunity in, in terms of we used to go to Du Bois. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> so, Du Bois has to go out or how to call it because <laughs> 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 yeah so would go and I realized some of these things are really nice things and then we never used to have hookers who used to cook these things. Yeah. So you'd actually get people asking you like where did you get this? And then I was like, ah I could actually start selling money. Yeah. On I started a page still had the same name Kamandola. It's yeah. never changed. And I actually think when come to think of it, I think the name came from remember how we used to name scientific plants? Ah, so there was a time and species. Yes. So there was, a, there was a time we used to we, we went for a trip, I think camp and there was a plant we saw and we didn't know how what it was. So we went for a trip. It was in high school actually. Yeah. And we saw a plant and then we were making fun. I think it was that time when we just named every plant in its genus and, and species, species yeah. thing. And it was one of my friends she used to call that. And then 
Angela, so we we named the clan Angelica Camandora. Ah. Yeah. What? So I when I was coming up with the name, I was wondering. Ah, so then I was like, Camandora. Mm. Mm. And now it looks so yeah. fancy. <laughs> it's fancy. You know, I always say my friends, my friends know you as Camandora. Yeah. And they ask me, oh that bag, I'm like, oh it's the it's Camandora. See, it's for Daisy Camandora. No, they think most of my friends. <laughs> Would think your name is Kamandora, yeah. I, I, but I think it's very fancy. It's such a nice name, especially when when it's like on the brands. Yeah, yeah. It's really I nice. wanted something very African. Yeah. So that any time, you know, in as much as Kamandora is a hard name, Kukishika, you, you can't it's forget sticks. it. It's sticks. It's You're sticks. like Kamandora, and yeah. as in literally, your brand has become bigger than you. Like people barely know who is behind. The brand, I think that's such a good thing to achieve <laughs> for your brand to grow beyond you. Yeah. So people know what Kamandora is. People have carried your bags in this Nairobi. <laughs> then I have a school bag. I have bags. I have traveling bags. I have bags for going to the office. Everything. Because, and, and when people look at me, they're like, this is such a good job. This is good workmanship. Even my dad was telling me a while ago. Yeah, and this is done by someone you know. This is, you know, you're so surprised. So yeah. it's it's really nice to see that you've grown. So I would really like to know first of all, how did you transition from the to, to what are the shambalas mm-hmm. and necklaces into bags? Like what made you, yeah, transition? So the idea was I actually bumped into a tailor. This is what happened. I bumped into a tailor and I really liked like what he was doing. Yeah. And he was a a shop in the feature back then when he used to live in Mbakasi. Oh, yeah. Somewhere there in Tasia. Oh. Yeah. So he was he I really liked his work. I, I think he called me that to know or something like that. <laughs> yeah. So I just entered and I was like, uh I asked like uh, what he was doing and we I was like okay for me not to seem as if I'm just asking I actually even ordered for something I wanted to see how he created mm-hmm. you see so when you see something hanging it's very different from, from when the process. You know, the process so I took a bag so he was making bags yeah he was making bags I told him how I wanted the bag to look and I ordered for one yeah. and then I started, I, I had that one bag when I was walking in town and everyone kept on asking me where, where did you get this bag, where did you get this bag? Even before the end of a week, I think someone said I want that exact bag. That one, that one. So, I need to have a bag for the paper bag. Ah, yeah. Who got there? I need to have a bag for the paper bag. That's funny. And I think it was, it was either someone I, I knew it was an acquaintance, yeah. so I was like, no, 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 I'll just make one for you. Don't yeah. worry, I'll send it to someone. And then that's how, because I started with this tailor, we work together, but then I can attest to it. Our quality never used to be as good as it is yeah. right now. Because uh, we used to learn. use cheaper materials. Yeah. And when you use cheaper materials, in as much as something looks good, it doesn't yeah, last cheaper. long. Yeah, so... I evolved and evolved and evolved and I learned how to, to stitch myself. Wow, you, you actually, I didn't know. <laughs> I learned, you were like, girl, what? You actually learned how to. I, I In high school, I did from that. So it wasn't so hard for me to learn how to, to work with the bag material. Yeah. You see, the only difference is the fabrics. Yeah, and the machine bit, is a bit different. Actually, it's not when The it needle... It's just the needle that's yeah, the needle is the needle, but the, the machine, machine is the same. same. Yeah, so we just grew. I found different places where I could get materials. It's it's a matter of just going. Um, I think I met someone who is also doing bags. In as much as you're in the same industry, I believe that every there's so much uh, market for yeah. everyone to be there. So. Um, I have friends even I know who make the same bags um, and there's you have to have that heart of don't be envious yeah. because everyone grows at their pace there's and know what you're bringing because you know what Daisy is bringing is not what, they, what, not what yes. Wendy can bring now the only problem comes in 
is when you try to bring in what, what they is bringing, bringing in. in. And it must be the same. Thing. You see, but if you, you you're all there, we all coexist. Bring your own ideas. Bring your I own ideas. Yeah, you and can sometimes practice. you can share in each other. It doesn't kill some as much as I call you and I and I ask you, when do you know where I can get maybe that's interesting because um, I'm thinking about um, I've had so many small careers <laughs> this is my life so when I was baking I learned from bakers yeah. I learned where to get my materials from them mm-hmm. I learned how to bake from them mm-hmm. people who are actually already baking mm-hmm. My friends, the, uh, my friend Nelly, um, her elder sister was baking. So, mm-hmm. like when I had an order, I didn't know how to execute it. Mm-hmm. I called them. Did you? Only per tips, and it never took from her. Exactly. And you know, it even got to a point where if I got a cake that was too complex for me to do, I used to pass it down to her. Yeah. And even a friend of mine called Grace, I pass it down to my friend until today. I market exactly. them very well. I'm like, oh, you need cake. I have guys. I have yeah. people. Because mm-hmm. those are people who really build, helped me build my brand then. And they never made it feel like the competition. Exactly. You get it. So, yeah. if, as long as you're not producing the same thing, um, there's room for every one of us. Yeah. And we always, I think you've seen the, this a meme that was going around yeah. where they were showing brands of bread. True. We have a thousand, and every one of them. Yeah. Kill them, talk on a market. Yeah, exactly. And then you see also another thing with something like this bag and whatever. Mm-hmm. We don't own one bag. Yeah. <laughs> like if you check my here, you see there's a variety of mm-hmm. bags. Like so, I can buy from you and buy from you and buy from you, and it's still okay. Everyone is winning. Everyone. You know, is the winning. clients can like both your brands equally and use them for different uses. You yeah. get. So I can say, you know me, I like her Madonna's bags, like her, her professional bags are like A1. Mm. This one is doing also good bags for, for vacation. Yeah. This one is doing nice backpacks, you know. So it's easy to very to coexist. And mm. yeah. Anyway, so um thank you so much for that. I also wanted to ask you, um, what motivates you? What motivated you to stay consistent? And what yeah, because you don't have a let's establish that she doesn't have an to five. Her age to five is Kamandora. <laughs> Kamandora is days is everything. <laughs> so, what motivates you to keep going and um, keep coming up with ideas? Because you've done such amazing things so far. You're doing things I've not seen another bad brand doing. Not to shade anyone, but just to say, yes, I'm seeing your creativity. Like you're thinking, and like, ah, I should execute this like that. What motivates you every day? I think sometimes not those days you wake up and you're like, gosh, if I had a job <laughs> right yeah. now, especially um, with the COVID, and sometimes we just have no times of the month. Yeah. And then that day, I, I can promise you, I must see someone come back. Are you serious? I am telling you, and that always happens. Yes, or or someone that. calls me, or my mom calls me. Even sometimes my mom is like. I know, I know, I know, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. <laughs> you, 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 <laughs> yeah, so, at, especially at first when I was starting to grow, yeah. I'd have my campus friends calling me and they're like, oh my god, he's in one of two of And I feel nice. so good. And probably that day I've not made any sense. So I'm like, yeah. so it's it just motivates yeah. it, it gives you some motivation and until date yes you have those bad days and i'm telling god make sure that you know your bad <laughs> I, I always <laughs> even when you think you are in cancun you know, you see you know, i'm like, like yeah <laughs> Do you always feel the next child people? Hey, you know, I'm No, I think the only one time, I, and it was quite recent. Yeah. Um, actually, it was last week. No, yes, last week on Friday. Uh-huh. We met a lady. Uh, in, I, I had gone to my sister's school. Yeah. They were having like a teacher. Oh, yeah, I remember you told me. Yeah. 
And then we met her in the woods just in the parking lot. She was also a And then my mom's like, Nico, say hi. Nico, say hi. <laughs> my mom was here, see. <laughs> but yeah, she, the lady was so excited. Oh my god. We even took a photo. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, she was like, oh my god, I love this bag. It's my errand to go back. Yeah. yeah. I was so happy. Yeah, yeah. My, my bag is. I think that's the one time I've, I've like gone up to someone and told yes. them I'm the one who has done this. I'm the brains yeah. behind that. Because <laughs> days you have people to help you with errands. Yeah. So people don't always see you delivering the yes, bag. Especially if it's uh, in outside town. Hey, it wait, wait. just makes it easier yeah. to use other people, other people. and faster. Even yeah. with the, when I bought then I was about some another guy delivered. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, hey, that's that's really really nice. Um Elijah, so how was your research process? So when you started with this guy, mm-hmm. um did you work with him for a long time and was he the reason for like Actually, uh-huh. I didn't I didn't work with him for a long time. I remember we worked together I think for a maximum of five months and then uh first of all I moved I moved all the way across town. So ah, coming yeah. back to Embarcasi and crazy. working was hard. hard. So it, to, it 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 made me realize I need to to come up with something better uh, and um, learn on your own and also own. learn on my own. And that's when I found like other tailors to help me do that. Yeah. And in the course of the time, I also I was in school then. Yeah. I'd also try it as much as learn. Actually, my learning process has been just by observation mm. because. Uh, yeah, it's been purely observation. I, I observe what you do and I'll try to do it. And yeah. we'll do it together. You'll be like, ah, yeah. I thought, like, you know, even them are surprised, like, yeah. especially in China, for the game, like, ah, I don't want to push on. And then I'm like, 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 you just pick it up and you learn from that. We've used, I, I can attest to you, and maybe probably people who bought bags in the beginning, the quality wasn't bad. But it, it's always like that with most any business. But uh, once we picked up and figured out what works what best is for us, yeah. and you know, it also starts with if, if I, I needed to use the same bags in order for me to understand what yeah. my consumers are going through. Unless she's to. always carrying her own bag. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I'll understand like we need to maybe fasten the handles yeah. because after some time we find them wearing yeah. or we need to change the fabric in general because maybe um, the, the leather you had maybe was not good. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's been a process of learning and when you learn you research such a yeah, you keep, and I think the important thing about, especially when it's even now, we are still, we're still learning, learning. Yeah. and especially with entrepreneurship, and especially in a business where it's a very hands on job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you learn how to make it yourself so mm-hmm. that this other person, when they're making it, you have standards of which you want them to get to. Yeah, yeah. so I think with that kind of job, because even me, I'm in that field where I'm now with the, with the headband and everything, mm-hmm. it's so it's you need to be very open minded and then you need to. And away when you were your place here, could they toy your fabric? Go know those suppliers because you also you learn a lot from them. When I was baking, mm-hmm. in fact, I used to go to Topsa. Let me just talk them out. I used to go to Topsa mm-hmm. and probably I have a cake to make a football, and I've never made a football in my life. So I just go there and say, Sasa. So I had because my local for long now, you know the guys. Mm-hmm. And the manze learn you gonna kick your football. Lifanye. Ah! <laughs> Madam, that's a. Imagine they give you tips because they know. Yeah. They've worked with, either they've been working with bakers, they've been in bakeries, they know nearly some of them are bakers. They come and tell me, there's a guy who used to give me tips. I swear, may I always say, like, 
my baking career, I credit it to that man who mm-hmm. chops up. I'd go there and tell him, Nataka ku make cake in a cassidy. I had a picture and he made to me and come here. Oh, so Sakamai, who not found print, edible print. Edible print to my fanya apa. Nini, nini, nini. He had to find yapa, like I know someone who can do. That's how now you learn on the job. Like, don't be afraid to ask questions. Go to the supplier and say, No, 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 material I can't buy. You wouldn't recommend it again. You know, even if it's pricey, let them tell you so that you know. And then the next time you're going to have different supplier, you know, nili ambi wai. Is it the truth? Una, una match notes. And then you're like, ah. It's working. Yeah. So with such a journey, I think you need to be very hands-on and very inquisitive. Yes. And uh, in, research twenty four seven. Yes. And <laughs> in business also, because it's there is so much apart from the making. Yeah. You also have to have marketing. You have to have uh, the delivery process. Yeah. You need like to get people you, who are very competent. Online. Yeah. Oh God, you learn a lot. You think you're just making bags is over. Kuna mse wa delivery. Kuna, but right now it's a bit better because delivery yeah. services have become so many. Gosh, it's so it's so better many. because so, uh, so much Kitambo, better. You, you won't get people uh, maybe like delivery guys who are so rude to your yeah. customer. Oh my like, God, oh my God. Ay, and yeah, delivery yeah, yeah, used to be yeah, so yeah, expensive. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and delivery was CBD expensive. was the best. It CBD was, was the easiest. Expensive. Let's meet at CBD because it's free. But when you're saying that you're taking to someone to their house, it's just expensive. And Riders used to charge a lot. Exactly. And for our clients also, um, in a matter of, you also get people who like over bugging. Ah, <laughs> yes, <laughs> for the bugs. <laughs> Even in terms, of, you know, there's uh, the aspect of when when you introduce delivery, uh, distance also matters. Yeah. So there's a client who's saying, "Yeah, na juwa na ipanga sombi." No, nothing about Uber. Yeah. So sometimes also trying to uh, make them understand that. It's just not from town. Yeah. It's from your shop, shop yeah. and and where our workshop is, it's not in town. Not so in imagine town. someone trying to convince you to pay two hundred bob for a delivery yeah. guy from all the way from Outer Ring Road to Rongai. Yeah. It's, it's, it's quite pricey. It's, it's, it's pricey. pricey. It makes yeah. sense. <laughs> so um. And I, I like that you said that. And I also wanted to include something important because I was talking to Daisy before this and I was telling her, mm-hmm. don't give us all the details. <laughs> <laughs> For a reason, um, I need people to understand that you need to learn. Like, what is Amanda? Trust the process and enjoy the process. They mean it. I have had people who want to know everything from you. No. Learn for yourself. Like, go out there. Learn something from yourself. I didn't want Daisy to give us too much details <laughs> of where she gets to drink her leather, where she gets her words. Because I was, I was, in my head, I'm like, it's important for people to know that you need to learn on your own, to ask questions on your own, mm-hmm. so that you're able to do things for yourself. You get yeah. it's very, very important. Like when I want to bake, I didn't go and start from telling people, I went to YouTube how to bake a cake. I knew the basic ingredients of baking. Mm-hmm. And then is when you start. I'm trying this recipe. I'm trying this one. I'm trying this one. If it's not working, now I go consult. Hi. Um, I've been trying and it's not working. Could you help me? Mm-hmm. Someone who say dear, be grateful. It's not every day that you find people who are going to be so willing to help. Especially if you're in the same line of work. Exactly. If you're coming to become competitors. I say this because there's a girl who was selling lip glosses online. Doing a good job. Mm-hmm. I think she's still doing it right now. Amazing, amazing job. And she's like 19. She's a really small girl. So I was like, good girl. And then one day she ranted on her page and said, Guys, I will not give you all the information of how I get my things. Mm-hmm. Do your own research. I don't mind if you want to do the same business. Do your own research. It's really, really important. Just do your own research. Power. That's important. So I wanted to ask you about school. So as we went to Strathmore together and we started doing this, we never finished. We were there for a few months. <laughs> and then you came to a shoeless as a yeah. proper. And then you went into your university in Nairobi. Yeah. So what did you study? Uh, I studied economics. Uh-huh. Pure economics. Pure economics. Pure economics. Yeah. economics. My chops. 
and she graduated. So I wanted that to be passed. Yeah. But education is important. Go to school because in case of anything, <laughs> she will have her paper. She can go <laughs> and and look for a job. You know, yeah. if if anything goes wrong today, Daisy can go to a company and say I have papers. I need this. But um, I wanted to ask why? What what is it that motivated you to not go and get an eight to five? Because Daisy is Jacob. Oh my God! In someone's I've I've done internships. internships I've yeah. done uh, probably during my. I intertwined it with my like the years I like, yeah. in uni, not after after uni. Yeah. So um, hmm, the reason why I've never, I think I was very picky. Yeah. Because I already knew I have, I have something to, to, income, to, yeah. to fall back to. So if anything, I'm applying to. It's not giving you. It's, it's not giving me what I need. Yes, I've gone for for so many interviews. Yeah. Uh, but if I don't, if I don't feel I'm getting value for what I know I am, yeah, I think I, I don't think because you feel like you, I think you felt like you had the you had a space <laughs> where if these things, if the employment sector is not working, I can focus on this and it will be okay, Ama. Yeah, and I think that was the motion, and uh, I really, really struggled after graduating. Yeah. Because there's the push of everyone asking you, did you get a job? Are you applying for jobs and everything? So it used to make me feel as if funny what I'm, I'm doing is not a job or something. Yeah. You know? So and uh. <laughs> so sometimes you of of course even when I used to apply for the jobs, I used to feel as if I funny what I'm doing is not is not a job. Yeah. And then that's I just said it, I was like I need to focus because yeah. I was divided. And once you have a divided mind, mind. you cannot produce like that. Yeah. You won't produce the best. You won't give the best to yourself. Yeah. You won't give. I won't give my best to Kamandora. My customers won't get the best out of me. Yeah. So yeah, I just decided this is it. This is, this is yeah. And then now, uh, generally speaking. Um, because for me, my my biggest thing right now is to push Kenyan brands and, and Kenyan local people who are like creative people like you, who are creating stuff mm-hmm. in Kenya using Kenyan products. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So like you, you're a designer in Kenya. Basically, it's the designer who makes bags. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Do you think the market is very um is is learning to accept Kenyan products? Um. Do you think we have a long way to go? How are people receiving your products? Are they, yeah, generally tell us what the market looks like right now for a Kenyan designer. I I think we are starting to move up to the idea of Kenyan made it's items. Quality. Kenya is quality because for the longest time, uh, maybe from I, I don't know what used to happen before, yeah. but I think we used, either used to produce substance. Yeah, that's why people who are shying away from embracing this Kenyan made products. Yeah. And no, I think also okay. When sorry to intercede, but I think the idea was also we not we we didn't think it could happen. We didn't think a Kenyan yeah. could come and sit down and make a make a brand or make Kenyan products. Mm-hmm. Like we don't even take our tailors as designers. You get. Oh, yeah. We don't con- see, consider them designers. Like, ah, ni fun, ni tu, amango, you yeah. know. So I think there was that notion of when it's from outside, it's better quality. When it's from outside, you know, from the from the United States, <laughs> and it's not a tush. I imported it from, nah, nah, nah. we took so much pride in having stuff from the outside. Yeah, yeah so, eh, hey, continue. And uh, there's also, the you know, the idea that the government is coming in, uh, they started. There was a period they were really uh, constricting the importing of Ah, yeah, I So um, maybe one way or another, it's made people moving into liking what they are in terms of clothes, in terms of bags, in terms of shoes, because we 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 do have quality. Even if maybe how to 
moja. Hey. But we do have <laughs> unless you're living in a whole day. Uh Kenya stuff out there. We do have yes. maybe most people are upcoming and they are working towards something else. Yes. We most many people are we have makeup, we have clothes now. We have. Imagine. Yeah. And it's really, really good and impressive to see yeah. other people warm up to us. And yeah. sometimes people are very, very shocked when they ask you like this is not important. And then you're like, no, it's made from there. Yeah. yeah. So let's continue shocking people. Let's go to the Lake Wash tour. Thank you so much, Daisy, for coming and joining me. I'm so happy. Like I feel so this is my first episode. I intend to bring you guys a really <laughs> amazing bosses. It's going to be like young men and women who are doing amazing, amazing things in their communities, amazing things in the business world, people in corporate. I think I literally want you to be able to use this as a like when you come, it will be like when you finish for four, you come to be ready to look for like okay, what career can I get into? Like I really want that kind because I I remember I struggled. You know, I've changed courses in uni because. Yeah. I struggled a lot with knowing what is in the market or what you know it's how can I make my career marketable mm-hmm. so who is doing it that I can copy you know it was very traditional it was be a doctor be a lawyer be a pharmacist uh-huh. but then now we are become we are going into less traditional um, careers there's like a social media influencer there's someone who's paid to travel there's someone who's like you know it's all sorts of things yeah. so I wanted us to learn this so that by the time my child is growing up she'll have a rough idea of what she wants to do so I'm very grateful for you to be my first ever. We're going to post this on Monday. As we, yeah, and you check my social media platforms. I will put Kamadora's platform as well. So you guys can check out her product. And I hope you guys love this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>